Hey, Jonathan here at the Colfax High Mill and Woodshop. I got this CTX mini skid steer a little while ago to load logs, and I just got this trailer, and I wanted one tight package. So this video, I'm going to go over the whole thing and how it was built and how it works. So stay tuned, and I'll give you the whole run through on this trailer. These are the photos at Great Northern Trailer Works sent me of them building it. There's a chassis getting welded up. So kind of how this whole project started, well, the whole thing started is that I do tree work. So I cut down trees on the weekends, and then during the week, I teach wood shops. I spend my weekends trying to get rid of wood, and I spend my weekdays trying to find wood to make wood projects. Um, really, very fortunately, I won a grant from Harbor Freight, so this trailer was um, bought with Harbor Freight Tools for Schools grant winnings that I had and it's going to allow me to go out and collect waste logs on the weekends, bring them to school, then on Monday morning we'll unload them and then uh, mill them into lumber and make projects out of them and then sell those projects on our web store tree transformation. So this is the build right here. You can see that front box. That's going to be where the platform is that the mini skid steer sits on. My whole goal with having designed this trailer and having them custom build it is that I could just drive out to a job site, load the logs, put the mini skid steer back and come back and then um, dump the logs and mill them. So it's a pump, hydraulic electric pump for the dump bed. It's a beautiful trailer. I love it and I'll walk you through it. Those are the manufacturing photos. All right, this is the first time of me seeing the trailer. This is me going down to pick it up. And this is me walking up to it and seeing it for the first time. And then um, I'll just let the narration run of me seeing it for the first time and walking around and kind of pointing out all of the unbelievable features in it. This thing is cool. So this is a custom built trailer for me. It's a longer chassis, the dump bed. 10 foot dump bed, tie downs on the inside there, got D-rings in there, got the dump bed and the doors for dump, a two-way dump, oh well, that's cool, so you could dump soils or they could pivot open. This is a Cadillac of Cadillacs, big wheels. And then the, I think the right here, the ramps hook on right there and I can drive the mini skid steer up right here. Oh, that's cool. You can ramp on both sides. And it has stakes on there too. That's cool. Oh my God, this thing's beautiful. Has the automatic cover on there. Oh man, this thing is beautiful, beautiful. So it has those doors, D-rings on the inside. One question I do have on this is the weight distribution. They did move the axles pretty far forward. I think it'll be really well balanced when the mini skid steer is on that front platform and there are logs in the bed. But I'm wondering if the mini skid's on that front platform, if it's gonna be too heavy forward. I don't think so. But if it is, I could put the mini skid in the bed. I don't know if we're here, but this thing is a Cadillac of Cadillacs. So if you're worried about it on the load for the mini skid steer right there, you got these feet, these feet just unclip right here and drop in there so you can't pop that thing up. That is a clever feature, man. And then I love this tailgate. So I opened it up already, but you know, you could open it, it'll split down the center and open up, like I showed you. Or over here, you just have this release pin and then the whole thing will be like a spreading tailgate so it'll just pull out there under a load so that's the ramp pull out right there two ramps 
Those ramps could either hook right here on this, which is super cool. I'll just pull those ramps out over here and then drive the mini skid steer up right here. Wow, that's nice. So that just spools out here. Beautiful grease fittings. There's a cover, cover. Just pulls back. Hook it in there. Hook it in there. So there's my cover. I don't think I've ever owned a trailer this nice. There's a ratchet. Lock, lock it down. So lock that in place. Covered load. No tickets. So this is off the back. So there's a ramp hooked on there. Look at this. Look at this design. There's the door. Oh my god, that thing is beautiful. Swings beautifully. I know what would happen if I built this. I get it just perfect. Then the door wouldn't open. Love it. Go further back here. It's getting it set up from a truck height. Solid hit. That's a cool feature right here. Remote. Watch this. Huh? How about that? If I let the kids play with this, this thing will be worn out. My truck battery will be dead. Oh my god. Alright, here we are at school with the Vermeer CTX 50. I got the grapple on it right there. I think what I'm going to do first is pull the grapple off. I want to see how it locks and loads with as little leverage weight as possible. So there's the ramp. Ramps are super cool. They're just down stored under the bed here. Really nice how this thing works. Pull that out. And here are the, the ramps here. So let me go find a tripod and film loading this thing up for the first time. A little nervous, but it should be cool.
There it is. Locked and loaded to go. A little bit of room to spare. Plenty of room on the platform in width. Length is a little tight. That bucket it'll fit in there nice. right here on that breakover point. I love that facial expression. It's scary getting tipped up like that. I think it's got to get better over time. Uh, I might need longer ramps. I love this thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below. Hit subscribe. I'll keep you posted on how this thing works and how it works in the wood shop as well. Thanks so much for watching.